the art of storytelling and the stories that we're going to hear today, they all circulate in human culture, human consciousness, and sometimes we forget that the most nuanced, most effective, most pleasurable way of communicating experience is through the art of the human voice and manipulating it with narratives of tall tale, hijinks, folklore. And that's what we're going to do today. Whoa! Whoa! God, I've come all the way out here to talk to you. I want to find out why I'm so unlucky. God said, you're not unlucky, you're just not opening your eyes. All you got to do is look around you. There's luck everywhere. I'm going to tell you a story um, that I love because it comes from the South. And I'm from the South. I was born in North Carolina. I only lived there 12 years. And I often said that if I'd known I was going to be a storyteller, I would have stayed in the South longer. The story takes place in 1973, which I regard still as part of the 60s, a very different time than the one we're living in now. There were a lot of people less interested in money, more interested in finding themselves, finding enlightenment, there were all kinds of different words for it, but people wanted to know what they were living for, and I was one of those. So we have a lot of students, 15 students, who are writing in English and have never read in public before in English. So we really encourage them to read their story. You remember again the beginning she said, she's an immigrant, so she could not speak English, you remember? So to me, English is not my second language, it's my seventh language. I speak six of them. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Leanne. And thank you so much, all of you. This is Sir Hastekle. I'm from Eritrea. And uh, I'm very happy to share what my story with you. And thank you. Thank you, everybody. So this is, yeah, this is what I wish for. I wish I was a pelican. I wish I could slide like a pelican. I wish for a good life for pelicans. I I wish that that you know hopefully this film will get out broadly so that fishermen will take better care. So I've always loved the water, and so I'm going to tell you a little folk tale that I hope you will remember and think about the power of water in our lives. You know, you can't do without it. Yeah. And it's away we go, anywhere. 